Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a faraway land lived a rich but very eccentric king. Now, the most important possession in his palace to him was a rug, a rectangular rug, which was in his favourite room. Now, unfortunately for him, one of the servants dropped some burning coals on that rug and look what happened to it. Burned a hole right in the middle. So the king brought in the best rug makers from the kingdom and he said, you have three days to fix my rug. So diligently for three days, the rug makers worked on the rug. And this is what they did. They said, mm, we have to get rid of all that nasty burned frayed edges around the hole. And so they carefully cut the king's favorite rug in this manner here. And at the end of that three day period, they were very proud of themselves. And they called the king in to inspect their work, expecting a reward. But what do you think the king said when he noticed that his favorite rug, his favorite possession in the whole kingdom, now looked like this? So he said, look, to anyone in my kingdom who can repair the rug, I will offer half of my wealth. But he said, there are a couple of provisions. He said, when this rug is to be repaired, I don't want little bits cut off the edges and put in the middle. Oh no, he said, the rug must be cut in just two pieces which can be rearranged, fitted together in such a way that there is no hole in the center. And I know what you're saying, you're saying that's impossible. <laughs> Well, actually, it's not impossible. The rug can be repaired and turned into a rectangular rug without any holes in it, with just two pieces. See if you can figure it out. Hundreds of people tried and couldn't do it, but then a nine-year-old girl came along and she said to the king, I think I can. And he gave her a couple of days. She only needed a couple of hours, and this is what she did to the rug. She actually cut it in steps, along there, and then down here, and then along there, and down here, and another cut joining the edge of the hole. And then she turned it around and did the same thing from the other corner. Along here, across, keeping the cuts very straight, and you'll notice they're all exactly the same length there and joining this corner of the hole. You might say, well, what on earth does that achieve? You watch what it achieves. She found she could then slide the two pieces like this, put them in that position there, and then stitch along the join, and she had restored the king's rug. And she was very happy, not just because she received half of the wealth of the kingdom, but mainly because she had solved a difficult problem. <laughs>